Hello guys, welcome to Anarchy Vlogs. Hello guys, Anarchy Vlogs back again here. We are here at Vroom 2K19 and we are here at Taneja Aerospace. You can see the scrutiny has started. We are here on the first day of the event and sure. you can see all the bikes right. and cars lined up. This is the place where the scrutiny is taking place. The scrutiny is happening based on the class, the CC, the motorcycle size and also based on the different different types of categories they belong to. We have Arjun and Karan. Karan, all right. Uh, these are participating as well. The scrutiny is done, right? So, what are you guys riding? KTM 390. KTM 390. The same. All right. Uh, so, how is the pressure going on today? It's there, right? There's a lot of participants this time, more than 400. So let me just ask you a few questions to lighten up your mind. What started your uh, fuel for passion for the motorcycle? What's the fuel behind it? So how long have you been racing? Okay, okay. 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 You even do track days as well. Okay, okay. That's really nice. That's really nice. So have a great day. Uh, I wish you the best of luck, uh, and I hope you definitely go to a really good level too, and never lose your passion for motorcycling and stuff. Uh, We have a next set of participants. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, well, my name is Salman. I'm from a group called Speed Demons. Okay. So we are a group of 25 people. So we all are taking part, and we are very much excited for the Room Fifth edition. All right. So your scrutiny is done, right? Yeah. So what do you feel about the competition, by the way? Oh, competition is definitely gonna be tough, but still, we have faith. All right, all right. Do keep your faith high. Yeah. I'll just, you know, ask you a few random questions to lighten your heart. Uh, what fuel do you pack into motorcycles? Fuel, as in? What fuel the like, Oh, for, I mean, from since childhood, we are, I mean, it's like a family DNA. Okay. Since my dad, my uncles, everyone's into motorsports, so that carried on, the legacy carried on. Okay, okay, okay. That's great, that's great to hear, to be honest. So, what's your ride? Can you just tell us uh, what you think about Well, this is a Jixia 1000 uh, K6, basically known as the Godzilla of the superbikes. Yeah. The 1000 are also made on this platform. Okay. And uh, moreover, it's my baby. <laughs> And uh, basically, it has a full system race fit exhaust, K9 okay. air filter, okay. and uh, minor tweaks with the ACU. Okay, okay. So, what are your expectations? Uh, uh, in regarding to the time, hopefully, I should do in 10, at least 10 seconds. Uh, glad to hear that. Have a great day. Thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Um, enjoy your day. Thank you. Welcome to Boom once again. Boom! Here's Mahish and Mr. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. So can you tell me a bit about yourself? Yeah, actually I'm Madi. Madi Alagu is my full name actually. Okay. People call it me Madi Jamster, Jamster. So okay. I'm from Salem. Okay, okay. So I came to participate in a wheelie class. Okay, in the wheelie class? Yeah, wheelie class. You've yeah. seen your videos on Instagram. That's crazy, man. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. That you do. So how long have you been doing this? 
I am riding 14 years since. 14 years. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you just a few questions. So the scrutiny is done, right? Yeah, over. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think about the competition this time? This time will be a little tough, I guess, because uh, I didn't expect uh, another one of my guys coming, and then uh, from North India, a few guys are coming. Okay. So okay. I thought uh, will be tough. Okay. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. Man. Thank you, thank um, you so much. You have a great ride, by the way. Can you just tell me a bit more about your bike, if you don't mind? Yeah, it's Kawasaki ZX Channel. Okay. I have been wrapped with uh, Axtikar Customs. I bought it from Thailand. Okay. So, and then we are just normal after aftermarket accessories only sliders and radiator guards and then uh, this thing, CNC liver potatoes okay. and Scorpion original exercise. Okay. Like that. So, it's screen, that's it. Okay, okay. It's a really great bike and you have a really good talent. I wish you the best of luck. Have a great day and welcome to your room again. The snake throw the clip and I'm gonna pull it some shakes. Never go to battle if you plan to lose. We have our India's first female. National Racing Champion Alicia Abdullah amongst us. Uh, pleasure to have you, ma'am. Uh, so, what do you feel about Broom this time? Uh, it's my first time, and it's really nice because uh, so much of crowd, and uh, I think people are. It's so positive over here, and first time racing um, the bikes over here is, is completely different. Because being on the circuit and coming to drag is completely different. But I think yeah, Room. I I followed the page uh, for quite some weeks, and I was very impressed. And that's when uh, we decided to have an entry over here. All right, all right. What do you feel about the vibes of Room this time? Oh, I mean, like you are totally into yeah. like JK tire uh, racing, <laughs> and, like totally like circuit racing yeah. and. Stuff. Yeah, and uh, suddenly on to drag racing and stuff. Like, uh, what do you think? Yeah, it's very different. Like I said, uh, here people, uh, here the crowd is a lot more than circuit racing, and uh, it's you can see the passion uh, in the people over here. Uh, the passion in whether it's a, a normal car or a sports car, there's so much of passion, and uh, I think that's the reason uh, Rome is very successful uh, for the past so many years. You are a great inspiration to all the women out there who are aspiring to be motorists. So, can you? Give a piece of advice or uh, a word, a message. Yeah, to all definitely. The youngsters. There are a lot of women coming up into the sport, and uh, now we have a girls' class also in Broome, which I'm going to participate in. And um, being on the bigger bike uh, in the 390 class, we have more girls coming in. So I think um, uh, with this publicity, with the, with the help of you people, I think we can really push a lot of uh, women coming into the sport and make it uh, a lot of women more than guys in racing. Yes, a message to the youngsters. Um, just keep your passion. I don't need to say any message because you see a lot of people over here. There's so much of crowd, and I'm sure someone told me that there's going to be double crowd tomorrow. And I'm very excited because uh, I feel I feel like I belong here more than circuit racing. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. being a part of uh, part of uh, Broom family. Thank you so much. Uh, have a nice day and yeah. enjoy your time. So see you time. soon on the track. Yeah, definitely. We have with us one of the most important members of Broom and he has been attending all the five editions of Broom and he is the main person behind the scrutiny of Broom. Uh, so can you please tell a bit more about yourself so that all of our viewers get to know uh, My name is Subhash Chandra Bose <laughs> and I have been uh, racing for the past 50 years. 50 years? Yes. My God. <laughs> I have been racing for the past 50 years and uh, now since my son is racing, so I have uh, handed over all my gave to him and I've been uh, appointed as an official. I've been coming here for the past five years to organize this as in the scrutiny. I'm a technical delegate uh, rep uh, representing the Federation of Motorsports of India. So we do all the checking for the safety and uh, the other parameters for the, all the motorcycles here. So that is our job now here. People say that they are passionate about motorcycles for five, ten years, but 50 years is something else. So yes, hats yes. off to your. I started racing that. in the year 1968. 1968. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I really don't have words for that. Uh, hats off to your passion. Yeah, yeah. I'm the senior post person in this uh, racing uh, uh, industry. Yeah. Really honored to have you here. Yes, sir. Thank so you very much. Any yeah. words for the youngsters out here? Youngsters, the youngsters are all. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, the youngsters are all gifted. They are all gifted because they have all got uh, all the latest motorcycles, they have all got the latest gear, they have got all the facilities in the world where when we raced, we never had anything. We never had uh, the uh, proper bikes, uh, proper gearing, nothing. So, 
the youngsters are really gifted and they are doing very well and i wish all the best to the youngsters thank you so much with so much of facilities they have to go still higher yes, can you share us a sum like just tiny bit of your experience with the times of the, like the racing times of your era and compared to the modern uh, yeah, yeah. standards like uh, see our era we used to prepare only the uh, road bikes mm -hmm. see when we were racing there was only three motorcycles in india one is the rajdoot one is the java and the, the other is the royal enfield they are all meant for the road so we used to convert them into racing and we used to prepare it for the racing ah thank you very much uh, we used to prepare it for the racing now these people they get the thoroughbred racing motorcycles very upgraded uh, bikes they have we never had proper uh, gearing we used to ride on jeans jacket cooling glass ordinary helmet and uh, we never used to have uh, these uh, energy drinks no mineral water ordinary water with ordinary tires no disc brake absolutely nothing but all our bikes were doing 100 miles per hour all our modifications <laughs> and i been a champion for nearly 25 years uh, in uh, this sport and i've raced motorcycles and cars i've raced uh, the smallest bike moped up to the biggest bike 350 cc so my the slowest speed was 115 on the moped the fastest was 240 kilometers on the oh motorcycle my God. <laughs> i can't imagine that we are really honored to have you here in this thank you thank you Guys, we have team four with us, and here is Mohammad Tajan, Ali, yeah, Farid, Asim. Go ahead. So, can you just tell a bit more about yourself, guys? Uh, I've been coming for uh, first time to Vroom, and this is the first time I'm gonna race, and I'm pretty nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's see. Which uh, whatever happens for the best. So this is the first time you guys are participating. Yes, in that's the first time we are doing all it. All right, all right. There's a lot of pressure, don't you think? Like there is a lot of yes. competitors and stuff. Yes, there's a lot of competition this time. Okay, how long have you guys been racing? Uh, this is the first time we are coming into this kind of event. Okay. But we've been riding for about seven years for now. Okay. Into super bikes. Okay. What fueled your passion for motorbikes? uh we were into motorbikes like uh, say the indian classes but then we upgraded to the 1000 cc's and then we started you know upgrading it again and again and again and now i feel we should get into this uh, events and you know try placing or uh, try to see where we are here all right guys thank you so much for being a part of broom so i heartily welcome you all and have a nice day and enjoy your time here you too the mastermind of room with us mr tarik mohsin ji hello sir uh, i would just like to ask three questions from you sir so what's your inspiration behind room the inspira inspiration behind room is myself because uh, i was a racer myself i used to do a lot of drag races legal not illegal so i used to do a lot of races and when 2006 it was uh, the motor sports got banned in bangalore after 10 years we started working on and we said no you know let's not only race but let's organize a race and that's typically how i started room in 2015 and 2016 was the first event so here we are the fifth edition by grace of almighty we here we doing everything possible to uh, deliver something nice better best every time we change a lot of things we bring in a lot of different uh, new things development so we try to do as much as best as possible That's great sir you have been an inspiration for all the motorists and motorcyclists who are there present on Vroom this time and uh, what is that and what is that which keeps your motivation ahead for Vroom this time as far as the participants come nice uh, with all safety gears and we maintain absolute safety the safety is the highest priority 
we compromise uh, on probably let's say we could compromise on uh, the beauty of the event we could compromise on probably uh, the other aspects of the event but technically i am the man i come with a belief that i will never compromise on the safety the safety is my priority if safety is everything set because that comes first yes, and that depends on all for all the participants not only participants spectators and everyone because when the atmosphere is safe when the ambience is safe when the track is safe when participants are safe that means i can host many more editions to yes, come. all right so what's your message for the youngsters of today oh uh, guys see motor sports is nice it's good but it's a dangerous Uh, motorsport is very dangerous but everyone performs motorsport at their own risk so even the spectators who come here they are at their own risk everything is at their own risk but i would just send a good i want to give a message to everyone who's watching this video uh, guys don't spoil the sport because sport is very nice don't race on roads don't do illegal racing don't do you know road racing come to a platform which is governed by fmsci which is governed by so many different uh, you know governing bodies come here on a safest environment put a leather gear helmet jackets boots safe with doctors ambulances fire brigade fire extinguishers insured event so come to these events where you can actually get a super platform thousands of people looking at you and lakhs of people in india looking at you so that's a platform that you need do not race illegally come safe go safe because just don't forget that there is a family behind you waiting for you every day at home yes. so don't don't do anything that is illegal or road racing i would really not appreciate and my message to everyone is have a wonderful and a happy and a safe racing anytime anywhere on a wonderful platforms thank you so much for giving your time sir and come here, come. thank you so much for giving the opportunity to come for us to be a part of groom as well sir. no problem so it's absolutely a pleasure and she is an official mc so you can take her now hello thank you so much tarik yeah that was tarik mosin for you all the master binding behind groom and here with us is mc samara khan hello everyone out there so what do you feel about groom this time I have been hosting Broom from 5 years since the day it started and the journey has been really long. I have been to drag races across the world. I've been to drag drag races happening in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and a lot of more places. So I I feel that this place is being in Bangalore. We don't often get to see drag races happening this often. So this is one amazing platform where in the riders can come forward and show their talent and this is one place where you get to explore a lot of things not just bikes and cars but still get to that enthusiastic mode of the adrenal rush that's what we call so like you can see around you have a lot of bikes cars and tomorrow you'll see the actual run so this is just the scrutiny day and tomorrow is the actual run so you'll see a lot more things happening there i see a lot of enthusiasm by the way you are like telling about motor sports and stuff so what's your new passion for it So this all started with one of my friend he got his first R6 and then the noise was like okay this is something really exciting and being a girl it's not really normal to, for yeah, girls yeah, yeah. to like super bikes and super cars so this is one thing i myself being a rider so i always feel that there's a soft corner for super bikes and super cars that you are a rider so yeah for a lot of the women out there there yeah, to all the women watching me through this camera guys if you love riding and you love biking This is your space. Go take any bike possible and riding. It's not necessary. You need to have a good bike, or you need to have proper gears, or whatsoever. Everyone starts from the scratch. So go start from the scratch, and you will reach a level today that I am. So that's all for you all. So never feel that you can't do it. You definitely can. Everybody can. So there's nothing called you can't do it. There's nothing called impossible. Everything is possible. So go take your bikes. Come forward. See you guys tomorrow and day after. Right here in the Nature Aerodrome. So I'll see you all there. Thank you. We have Zubair Ali Jung with us today. Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> So it's been quite some time that you have been participating in a lot of drag race events in the country, and you are well known for it. So, what do you feel about this fifth edition of Groom? Uh, it's a very beautiful event, and uh, it's a big opportunity for all the drag racers and the motorsport uh, lovers. You know, we get an opportunity to participate in such races. So, here it is, and moreover, motorsports is uh, a known known thing across the world. 
and uh, in India it's very difficult and uh, with all the difficulties and what all the problems we having uh, these kind of events so it's really nice what vibes do you have about this event beautiful you know we see a lot of different types of vehicles people coming all across of India and uh, especially with that beautiful machines and good crowd life is full of fun you know we live life to live it full sax life <laughs> that's your tagline yeah yeah live it life sax life sax life yeah so you totally pumped up for the event this time yeah i'm totally pumped up for the event uh, moreover in fact i've got uh, participating all the categories so i've got around six uh, categories lined up so it's uh, very difficult to understand each and every bike you know because each bike has got its own uh, rev limiters and it has its own uh, band so i need to understand all these things so i'm a little bit kind of nervous and i'm i'm usually i'm cool <laughs> It's great to have you here. Thank you so much. Have a great time in Vroom. I heartily welcome you My and pleasure. enjoy it. My pleasure. That was Vroom's first day for you all, the day of scrutiny, where we got to find most of the participants all pumped up, pumped up with their vehicles and all set, ready to race. Catch you all guys back in action tomorrow. See you.